Hello, beautiful, beautiful people. I hope that all is well in your world. And this day progress very, very well for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful loved ones. <clears throat> My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, do you know that the real R-E-A sun is black. The sun is black. Nevertheless, if you sun gaze like I do, you will see after maybe 35 to 45 seconds of sun gazing, you will see that the sun becomes a greenish circle. And that is what you see as you are sun gazing, looking directly into the sun. Nonetheless, in reality, the sun is black. The sun is black energy my beautiful black brothers and sisters, you cannot see the sun in free space. In free space, you cannot see the sun. The sun is only visible when gross matter, G-R-O-S-S, -S, gross matter is involved like the earth atmosphere or the surface of the moon. In space, when in space, you can see the moon and you can see the earth, but you cannot see the sun. And the stars, they are only visible from the earth. In space, you can see material objects, but you cannot see the source of light. In all actuality, there is no light years in space. There are no light years in space because there is no light. Everything is black energy. That means the light that we see from distant stars isn't a thousand years away. It could be only hours or minutes away. And know this, finally, melanated people people that look like me are able to transmit energy from the sun from the sun's rays and use that energy for good effects to energize our minds our brains our internal organs our skin our entire bodies to sustain us, to keep us health, healthy, both physically and mentally. We are sun people, my beautiful black brothers and sisters. The sun is black. In all reality, the sun is black energy. Know this, my beautiful black brothers and sisters, the real COVID-19 hoax, H-O-A-X, is that Republicans are using the COVID-19 disease to make the black vote disappear. That's what they are doing my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. 
there is a common tool that is used by every sophisticated thief, every magician, and every con man. For example, a bank robber might pull a fire alarm across town or call in a fake robbery as smoke for a heist while flim flam and artists use a variety of misdirectional gimmicks called bells. Some of the most elaborate magic tricks depend on a look away. When a skilled magician employs a loud sound, a hand movement or the slightest movement of their eyes to distract the audience for a fraction of a second. Regardless of what they are called, these tactics all serve the same functions. They subconsciously divert your attention my attention from the thing to which our attention is supposed to be focused. And the best bandits, the best bamboozlers, and the best bullshitters can convince you that you never averted your gaze. They will make you believe that you have been paying attention all along. You won't even suspect that you've been robbed, that you've been flim flam, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, until you notice that your pockets are empty. Trump does not know magic. He is not a skilled con man, nor is he a sophisticated thief. Trump is none of those things. Trump is a dummy. Nevertheless, Trump is a tool, T-O-O-L, that is being used. His antics are the perfect smoke screen for the Republican Party. Their goal of filling federal court benches with right wing idiots with right wing racist bastards. Their goal of lowering taxes on millionaires and billionaires. Their goal of dismantling affirmative action. Their goal of cutting social programs, the safety nets. Their goal of rolling back environmental regulations. Their goal of reducing immigration and boasting and boosting the medicinal disinfectant industry. Republican backed international oligarchs use Trump's his blustery third-rate hustleism. He thinks he's a hustler as cover to infiltrate the American economy. Investors use his name to promote the, their financial interests. Trump is a tool that is being used. 
But even since the Mueller report exposed Trump presidential campaign as smoke for Vladimir Putin's election interference and discord sowing, S-E-W-I-N-G. Trump's conservative co-conspirators have wondered how they are, were going to steal the 2020 election. Here's how. Their farce of an election fraud committee led by former Kansas State Secretary, Secretary of State Chris Kobach dubbed the most racist white boy in America. That plan imploded. The 2018 midterm voter suppression scheme largely backfired. Then along came COVID-19. The Republican Party have welcomed it. Trump has welcomed it. With the 2020 election less than 200 days away, white racist Republicans are using the COVID-19 crisis as the perfect opportunity to continue their time on a long con, C-O-N, of making black voters disappear. The suppression misdirection, that's the Republicans' tactic. Let's be clear. Widespread voter fraud is a myth, M-Y-T-H. Voter fraud is not a significant problem on this plantation called America. Harvard and many other experts have done the studies and basically every analysis that has ever been done has concluded it is not a voter's fraud is not a significant concern. A law professor wrote a book called The Voting Wars. He looked at 30 years of data in search of voter fraud, changing the outcome of an election. He couldn't find a single instance according to the New Yorker. A 2014 Harvard study put the likely percentage of non-citizens voting at zero. Voter fraud in America does not exist. Yet Trump and his fellow white racist Republicans are now using the COVID-19 pandemic to perpetuate the perception that there are secret cadres of felons, undocumented immigrants, and invisible liberal election fosters who are going to the polls to cast ballots for Democrats. That is bullshit, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. And they are constantly, the Republicans, are constantly making it harder to vote during a time when many are already worried about catching a deadly disease that disproportionately affects black folks and brown folks. This is voter suppression in plain sight, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. 
No magician in America steals the black votes with more unapologetic precision than the Georgia governor, Brian Kemp. Long before he became known for his campaign to turn Georgia into a post-Confederate flag-waving bastion of whiteness, the Georgia Republicans was known as the Wizard of Voter Suppression. That's Georgia's governor, Brian Kemp. After purging black ballot casters and making millions more disappear in the 2018 midterms, Brian Kemp successfully stifled an effort to acquire voting systems that required hand-marked paper ballots. The experts have concluded that hand-marked paper ballots are the most secure kind of voting system. Every expert will tell you that if this expert is not a Republican. As of April 27th, eight Georgia counties, this past April 27th, eight Georgia counties ranked among, among the 50 most COVID-19 infected counties in America. So what did Brian Kemp decide to do with this information? He immediately became the first governor to rescind his state's stay-at-home orders all so that he could get out and suppress more black votes by infecting the entire state of Georgia using that as a weapon to kill more black folks. He refused to delay the state's May 19th primary. And even though the Georgia's blackest precincts, the Georgia's blackest precincts routinely have long lines and crowded polls, Brian Kemp and his cronies are currently fighting a lawsuit that will force the state to pay for postage on mail-in ballots. Brian Kemp is the king of voter suppression. Brian Kemp is a white racist Republican, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. The state of Georgia remains a state with voter suppression built into its DNA. The state of Georgia has voter suppression built into its DNA. The state house leader has launched a task force to look at absentee voter fraud to intimidate the public, and especially to intimidate black voters. Voter suppression is a weapon. Trump is a tool to distract the American public, the American people, from what the Republican Party and these red state Republican governors are trying to do to steal the 2020 election. That's what I have on this one. Please go to thethrashaway.lib.com.
www.ssyn.com. There you will get access to all that I do. Talk to you again soon.